Before you upload an image to your control panel for your site, you want to make sure it's the correct size. Raw images are usually gargantuanly large, for good reason. You can always make a large image smaller, but trying to make a small image larger usually has disastrous results. For this reason, you want to resize your images so they appropriately fit the spot where you're going to put them. For a benchmark, you shouldn't need to upload an image larger than 1,000 pixels wide, and most look good from about 300 to 400 pixels depending on where you're putting them on the page. Take this image for instance. I want to place it on the Community Resources page, however as you can see it's incredibly large, over 1,900 pixels wide. There are settings in our system that allow for some adjustment of size, however this only deals with the issue cosmetically. The file still has the original hefty size, which not only takes up space on the web server, but can also take longer to fully load and then scale itself when viewing it on your site. So let's get this resized. The first step is to use a photo editor to do the resizing. Windows and Mac machines usually have some basic editing programs you can check out. However, my one-stop shop for photo editing is actually not a program, but a website. It's called Pixlr, and you'll find it at pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R.com. No E there. I happen to have it open on an adjacent tab. Now, when it opens, your version might look a little different. However, the main thing you're going to want to look for is a link to Pixlr Express. This is a great tool for a number of reasons. It's web-based, so you don't download a program to your computer. It has most all the tools you should ever need to work with your images, and maybe best of all, it's free. Now once it opens, the first thing you want to do is browse your computer for the original image, so we'll click right here. And I've got the image I want to work with available in my Pictures folder. You can select it and click on Open, or you can just double-click on the image, and there it is. There are a lot of options down here. For our purposes, we're going to click on Adjustment. You can see there are about 20 tools to edit your images here, only limited by your imagination, and we're going to select Resize. You'll notice this image is well over 1900 pixels wide. Given a web page is generally considered to be about 950 pixels in total width, I only need about 300 pixels for our purposes. You want to leave the setting Keep Proportions as it is, so your image keeps its relative height and width. Now all we have to do is go over here and click on Apply. As you can see, the image now looks minuscule, but don't panic. We're only looking at an image about 39% of its actual size. So let's adjust it up here. That's better. Now, if it didn't turn out quite like you expected, you can click on Undo and do it all over again. If you like the results, click on Save. You can name the new image here. It's smart to keep the original image available for future use, so I'm going to add Resized to this image title. Click on Save and you should be directed back to the folder on your computer. Make sure the file name is correct and then click on Save here as well. Now that you have the resized image available, you need of course to place it on your page and that means of course we'll have to open our control panel. I want the text on this page to flow around the new image, so I'm going to place my cursor right about here in the middle of the text where I want to insert it. Now we'll go on up here, click on Insert Edit Image, and you can see the source for my image is blank, so we're going to have to browse for it. The image we resized isn't in my website files yet, so I'll have to locate it on my computer and then upload it. So we're going to go up here and click on Upload, and since the image is on my computer, we'll select Local Machine, and then navigate to where the image is located. I'll select the image, and then come down here and click on Open. This will begin the upload process, which you can see only took a moment. Now once it's done, of course, you want to make sure the image is selected, and we'll come on down here and click on Insert. Now let's set some padding for a little room around the image on the Advanced tab. We'll set the vertical and horizontal space at 10 pixels each, and let's give it a border one pixel wide, and go down here and click on OK. You can see the new image has been inserted on the page, but it's kind of stuck in the middle because it still needs to be aligned. So we'll go on up to the Alignment Tools up here and click Align Left. That looks much better. Now if you like the results, we can scroll on down here and click on Update Page. To see the results, I have the web page open on an adjacent tab. You'll notice the page looks just like it did, so we'll need to click Refresh, and now you can see the image is in place. So to summarize, it's very important to resize your images to fit the space on your site. It's also a fairly easy process, one you'll get more comfortable with the more you work with the images on your website.